My name is Kira Paul. I am the permanent secretary acting in the Ministry of Blue and Green Economy, Agriculture and National Food Security. My name is Shannon George. I'm from the village of Kimbush. I've been working as a quarantine inspector for the past 10 years. I'm Lisa Francis, the warehouse supervisor for the Emergency Agricultural Livelihoods Climate Resilience Project. This is a project from the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica through the Ministry of Blue and Green Economy, Agriculture and National Food Security, funded by the World Bank. My name is Anna Marie Serafin Alexander and my responsibilities are agro-processing, pesticide and I'm officially the produce chemist for the Ministry of Agriculture. My name is Natoya Esprijon. I I'm employed in the Ministry of Agriculture for the past nine years as an agricultural officer in the North region. I am Diane Joseph from the community of Walton River. I've been in farming full time for 11 years, going on 11 years. I'm Veronica George from Eglistown. On the farm, we had we started with chicken and boil, the broilers in layers. We sell egg, we, we market eggs. And on the farm, we have crown provision, short-term crops, avocado, seasoning, and all those different things. At the PIU, we are responsible for the day-to-day -day operations in terms of dealing with farmers and inputs, fertilizer, um, tools, and equipment in order to help farmers restore their livelihoods post-Hurricane Maria. A few of our main responsibilities are the issuance of permits for importation of pesticide, registration of pesticide, pesticide training, also in respect to produce chemist lab, and what we do is analytical testing of products and so forth, and also to provide technical assistance to agro-processors around the island. On a day-to-day -day basis, I you know, go to the farms you know, to provide technical support to the farmers in terms of um, production. Um, the different practices that they should um, undertake in order to see, you know, to get maximum results. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do inspection and certification of agricultural items being exported to ensure that it meets the market requirements. We also do inspections of agricultural items being imported, as well as vehicles, heavy machineries, vessels, and anything that poses a threat to the agricultural sector. Women play a critical role, role in sustainable development, in advancing our communities, um, in, in protecting our homes, um, in ensuring that our needs are met. So as a female, as a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, we recognize the value of women in rural development, um, in the development of the base of our economy, which is agriculture. Sometimes very hectic. <laughs> Um, get up in the morning at six, start picking up the eggs, um, feeding the fowls by 8.30, you have done all of these, and um, up, proceed on to the farm, to your vegetable garden. Well, when it first, um, the pandemic first reached our shores, I was in total shock because, you know, it's, it's something new, it's, it's new to, to all of us. You know, a mother of, um, three children, I'm a wife, I have a young family. Also, I am a frontline um, worker and also I have a small business where I do um, um, agro-processing. So it has impacted me a great um, deal because, you know, in terms of, of my family, you know, um, movement was limited because considering the nature of the disease and what was being um, advertised, you had to um, follow protocol. And being at work, for me, it was, you know, people were not able to come to us as often or how they would really want to, and having to remind people that, you know, you have to wear your mask, you can't come to the office, or if you come to the office, it's one by one. That was how it was, um, you know, it affected us, the fact that we couldn't have that direct dialogue with our customers the way that we usually do. As a, a woman in agriculture, I am very proud of, of being in agriculture because in order to have a healthy life, to maintain a healthy life, you have to grow what you eat and eat what you grow. Because if you believe in a farm, then you have no processed food to eat, which is much healthier with all the trees and all, all the trees are wrong and things, so you have a better uh, atmosphere, healthier environment. 
The COVID-19 pandemic was felt across the globe um, and of course Dominica was not immune to the, the impacts of COVID-19. That pandemic actually showed the strength of a, of a woman um, in managing her home, in managing remote, remote work, in managing her involvement in the communities which are the key role that women play in, in society. Um, that would have been one of the most challenging times because you would have had children um, um, in school and trying to ensure that the, the assignments are met. Um, you would have had distresses that you, you would have been confronted with in terms of not knowing for some persons where their next dollar would be coming from, um, trying to make ends meet. So COVID pandemic was an eye opener and it really showed the strength of, of a woman. Well, personally, in the beginning of COVID, I had issues with transportation to and from work. I also had to adjust to working from home since we were not allowed to come to work as normal. Financially, COVID also impacted me since before COVID, there was no need to purchase any PPEs. So the demand was there for eggs, right? And my birds at the time needed to be replaced. So what we did was to <coughs> mold the birds and try to bring them back into lay. And that's how I did it, okay? Um, and God is good. God has been good for the past time. So we tried. Now when we were not able as such to sell into town, we had to go into the communities and to meet my customers, to take the eggs to them. And who were not comfortable with coming to town at the time, for COVID, you know? We took the eggs to them. Well, because of my trust in God, when it comes to the COVID um, situation, never really, never really bother me. I never really let that hinder whatever I have to do. So, what is to be most be, I do what I had to do. I continue. If it's like I continue with my chicken, I buy my 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 seeds to 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 get my crops. I go to town. My I with the help of my children and the people who work with me, I find everything is okay. Because you just have to thank God for small mercy, whatever he gives you, you have to be contented and praise him. COVID-19 impacted us severely because when we first started, we started with just one warehouse where farmers from all over the regions would come to that one warehouse and we were located in Belfast under the CP compound. So we would schedule certain days for certain regions and so on in order for efficient flow. But then when COVID struck, we were faced with the different protocols where we were only allowed to have a certain number of people on site at the time. So with COVID-19, what happened is that I had to find a way along with my team to not bring so many people on the compound at the time. The agricultural sector, we, the Ministry of Agriculture, we responded through the Silk Backyard Gardening Program. And of course, critical to that, program, the design of the program as well as the implementation of the program was led by women. So we had women who were in leadership in the execution of that CERC program. The CERC program by its very nature would have ensured that they, that food was secure at the household level. Um, it was also an alternative means for some income generation for some family members who would have lost their, their, their income. Um, and so the, the, the Ministry of Agriculture was very sensitive to those issues at the household level, but also at the community level. And so we would have had a number of our officers, whether by um, whether their involvement were in the project execution, but also from the administrative front, um, from the accounting front, um, from the agricultural extension service front, who would have been engaging with individuals and households um, in the execution of that program. One of the ways that we tried to assist the general public was to do the seedling program that we had. And honestly, a lot of seedlings were produced and farmers were, in, not just farmers, but also householders, people that have their little backyard farming, they were encouraged to come and receive seedlings so that they could plant, so they could actually have food, not just food, but you know, vegetables, that they could eat and stay healthy. I still think that because of that, a lot of people got more involved and a lot of like the homeowners, the backyard gardeners, they got more involved and it's something that they will continue to do. We are also thankful that we got some birds from um, broilers from the SEC program with Little Bank. Okay, and we raised those birds for six weeks and we got the food, the feed for the birds. And when the six weeks was up, 
the abattoir came to pick up the birds and give farmers dollar per pound so it was very good for the farmers. The result was, it was good. But you know, if we were not in that time, you know, it would be even much better. But we have to work with how things are and we need to, to continue to put our best foot forward in whatever we do. We are normally a tight knit family, so collaborating with other female staff was not really a challenge for us. In the instances where we'll have to meet face to face, so we just use alternative forms to do such, but we ensured that we meet our mandate. Results is what I, I work for. I like to get results. So what I do, seeing the, you know how the disease is, I had to, you know, contact farmers over the phone, you know, to explain the situation to them, and you know it was a bit of a challenge. The results were good. Our exporters were able to meet their market demands, and our importers were also able to meet the needs of the consumers. So I would say overall we were able to facilitate trade. I'd like to wish all women a happy International Women's Day. And be strong, don't give up, don't feel inferior. Believe in what you do and don't just keep focused. Stay focused, don't worry about anything. Don't think never negative. We've got all things are possible. Happy International Women's Day to all the hardworking women out there, all the women who advocate for the women. And you know, we have all the phenomenal women out there. Happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day to all Dominican women. Happy International Women's Day to the female staff of the Ministry of Agriculture. Happy International Women's Day to our female ministers and permanent secretaries. And please ensure that you buy into the idea of I am generation equality.